Good morning, it's Yvonne here to do the water sign readings and this will be for the lovely sign of Scorpio. Okay, we're going to use the golden tarot for this reading. We'll start with the deck up the right way. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing to, to my channel. If you're new on board, welcome. Um, I realise today actually is three years, I think, on my channel. I can't remember if it's the ninth, but so it's been a very incredible journey for me. Whoop. Three of Wands coming through. All right, let's see what's happening for you, Scorpio, in this reading. Okay. I love it. You've got the Emperor coming straight out. Now, I kind of thinking this is the sort of energy you're bringing forth this week. The Emperor can represent the divine masculine. It's a very masculine energy. It is also the sign of Aries, so you could be dealing with an Aries. But I can't help thinking that this is you being really stepping into your power this week, really starting to feel your place, where you're coming from, what you want. It's like you've got a lot of direction here. Now, if this is someone you're dealing with, this person is a very learned person, very well educated. Um, somebody who's quite powerful, but it's powerful in a very internal way. It's not like having lots of power, although this person could. Sometimes they could represent as you know, a powerful force in your community, someone who has a position of power. But it's more about the internal energy. This is a person who really knows themselves. They are really uh, well-educated, knowledgeable, but they know what, what they want and where they're going. I can't help feeling it's your energy. Now we have the Knight of Wands coming through and the Knight of Wands is a card that talks of passion and drive. It can represent a fire sign, a Leo, Sag or Aries. So, I mean, we do have, for example, both Aries energies coming through here. So it could be somebody who's very powerful coming towards you to offer you something, absolutely. But it could be that you're feeling very powerful this week and ready to offer something to somebody else. But definitely showing a lot of power here. You could have somebody coming in to give you a really good opportunity here, especially with that Emperor card. This is a person who could be someone who runs their own organization, somebody runs their own company, somebody who's in charge of something. Because with this eight of coins, it feels like you're being offered something here, something that you can really get your teeth into. It could be to do with work. So I do see you closing down something and taking a brand new path here. There seems to be some communication here that's going to give you a brand new start. Now, for some of you, this will be still around a relationship or a some sort of connection with somebody because I do see this person coming in to offer you something. There's just not a lot of cups here, which makes me think that this isn't about love. But there is some clarity and truth here. Let's get deeper into it and see what's going on. I love it when I get the complicated ones. Okay, Knight of Coins coming through. So I really feel like for some of you, this is a big opportunity coming to you. A really big opportunity. This is an opportunity that perhaps you've wished for and, and couldn't see coming. So for some of you, it could be a windfall. It could be money coming from an unexpected direction you could have somebody in your family that represents the emperor that will be giving you a financial start a little bit of a kick start here um, but I really feel like whatever you're being offered here is very very solid and is going to help you move forward in a beautiful way let's have a, a look at what's going on all right we have the chariot coming through card of cancer we have the Two of Cups. There we go. So for some of you, it definitely is a relationship. And it may be coming from an Earth sign here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Cancer. The Two of Cups talks about some sort of 
energy of two people who are meeting eye to eye, two people who see each other. Somebody wants forward movement here. They want to move forward with you. They see you as having great potential. With the Queen of Coins here, this person could see you as marriage material, long-term commitment here. Whoever this person is, they're coming forth with a lot of passion and a lot of drive. This person definitely wants to work with you here. They want to work on this with you because there's a lot of work here. Now, what I feel really strongly here is maybe for some of you, this is a situation where you've got the opportunity at both. So this person may be giving you an opportunity to work with them as well as have a relationship with them because it sort of seems quite formalized. So I wonder if this person sees you sees your potential in the working arena but may also have a personal interest in you. So this person may feel a great deal of emotion for you but also want to have a partnership. There's definitely partnership coming through. All right, let's just put some more cards. All right, so we have the Queen of Wands with the Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups. This person may be walking away from another situation here. Maybe that's why they're coming rushing back in. Maybe they've closed something else out in their life here because... The Queen of Coins can represent a partner and I have the Eight of Cups which does imply that this could have been some sort of third party situation here because we now have two cups. Perhaps this person could have moved forward before. If we're talking about someone here who's had to separate from something, close something down in their own life first, Hmm, very possible. There's two women here, two females, not necessarily women, two females. We have the seven of coins with the hanged man and the king of pentacles. All right, so we do definitely have somebody who's walked away from another situation who's now in the position. And for some of you here, then that emperor could, could denote a divine masculine. Okay. There's definitely been some sort of separation here. Somebody's walked away from something after seeing something from a completely different perspective. We have the energy here of a, a separation. I feel like, let me just go through the mini read and I'm going to get in a little deeper because it's pretty straightforward here. I have someone who's coming up as the divine masculine, but I do feel that you're in your power at the moment too. So it's both of you are meeting eye to eye. I've got that very, very much at the beginning. This person's coming in with a lot of passion. I feel like they want to work on something with you now. Now, if this is a twin flame, you could be talking about someone who's going to invest in you in a material sense as well. So maybe help you with a business, maybe work in a business with you. You could already be very aligned with this person in terms of your direction. You are both putting down some sort of burden of the past here and taking up a new pathway with the two of wands. There is communication coming through with this person with the truth and intention. This person has had clarity here. It looks to me like they've walked away from another situation. Whoever this person is, they are ready to build with you. They see you as their soulmate. They may have had trouble seeing that. We may be talking about a person here who had a lot of trouble seeing the connection or realising the connection. Perhaps they sort of... Perhaps they felt the strong connection with you, but perhaps they went into denial about it or denied the way they felt because I feel like this person's had some sort of wake-up call. We're talking about someone who was previously in another situation. I see somebody coming towards you, seeing you as the Queen of Wands, but they may be leaving a Queen of Pentacles behind. This person is walking away after having some sort of enlightenment here. But this person is trying to manifest with you here. So I see the Three of Cups in the middle. I feel like it's done. It's dusted. This person has chosen to move forward here. They now want to offer you this long-term commitment. 
I feel like they've had some sort of awakening about a past relationship and chosen to walk away. So the three goes down to two with the cups and this person is, ma is manifesting you here with the seven of coins. This person sees you as the queen of wands. So they see you as much more powerful for them. They have a lot of... Um, a lot of desire to make something with you, to create with you. And I feel like you may have been patient here. This could have taken a very long time for this person to get to this point. Because it looks to me like it's been a very slow progress with this person trying to get into that emperor energy. You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo here. Absolutely. But this person wants to build with you. They want to build with you both in a financial way plus in a relationship. I kind of feeling that this person has talked to you about this or maybe it was something you did discuss at some point because there's very much this energy. Wow, Wheel of Fortune jumping out on me there. There's very much this energy that this person has perhaps you, you decided together or you talked together about what you could create here. Absolutely, Ten of Cups coming through. I feel like this person is definitely somebody that you've had those conversations with. You may have talked about what you wanted to create together here. Six of Coins, absolutely. You both want to put into this. I feel like these conversations, this is beautiful energy. I feel like these conversations would have taken place in the past. So whoever this person is, you may not have had any contact with them, but I feel at some stage or another you discussed where you saw your boat, yourselves going. Now this may have been in a romantic sense. It may just have been that you two were very good friends or you knew each other really well. But to me, this is a conversation talking about what are we going to do in the future? And there's some sort of energy about you building together towards this Ten of Cups. So whoever this person is now has cleared everything away in their life to move back towards you. Now again, I'm not even sure that you see this person coming in. But they've definitely left something behind. They've had some sort of, I want to say an awakening. But it could be that it's taken them a while to get out of this energy of denial and into action taking. But they're full of action now. All right, let's pull a card from this deck. So we have the Quantum Oracle here. It takes me a little while to get used to a new deck again when I pull a new Oracle deck out. All right, so we have Stuck Energy. Okay, an increase. Okay, beautiful. I can see where, why those two have come out. Absolutely. Now, the first card is the Stuck Energy card, and I feel like this may be where your person was, or maybe at this very point in time. Now, when we say um, they're stuck, I feel like this person had issues or problems either with a past relationship or with a past situation that they were trying to finalise before coming towards you. Um, so I really feel that the... See, it's, it says, taking a moment to notice the rainbow and orbs behind the man. These represent the power of your own spirit. And the message here is a life lesson from your soul. It's time to know that you do have the power to resolve this seemingly unresolvable situation. Stop and figure out the logistical steps you need to take. Meditate on the strength of your soul. You ha always have options and you are resourceful and capable enough to figure them out. Only you have the power to choose the direction of your life. No matter what you're dealing with, you can get unstuck. And then we move into this increase energy. Sort of makes a lot of sense when you look at it that way. It's like this person has realised they can make something here. They just have to put the right things into motion. So I said it takes me a little while to get back into these um, energies with these cards again because I haven't used them for a while. So and everybody does this, you know, making either putting numbers on the cards or putting them in a different alphabetical order. So it takes me a little while. Okay. 
A road to a beautiful estate is lined with flowers and bright crystals on each side. This heralds a time of great growth for you. Perhaps you will be increasing the size of your family or your business. Now there we go with both again. Or you may be thinking of buying real estate, starting a building project or making investments. If any of these things are on your mind, it's time to investigate your options and take action. The cycles in your life have led you to a wonderful time of increase. While it's true that the expansion may come from a sudden windfall, like an inheritance or a stock paying off, which I gave light to too, it is more likely this cycle could call for great effort. In fact, planning, energy and attention may be required to make the expansion complete. Be willing to jump into the activity with enthusiasm. I feel that this may be, for many of you, something that actually brings both to the front i'm really really strong on that i feel like this person unless you're met, you've met them through a work or you've worked with them you could work for this person with that emperor energy whatever's going on here you have a potential to build something incredible between the two of you um so i don't feel that this is just about love i feel like it's building stability too and especially with that card i can't feel it any other way all right, I will leave you with that. Somebody's coming.